Back here live in day one, Las Vegas for IBM Edge. This is day one wrap up. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. Uh, long day, Dave. Uh, great, uh, great uh, kickoff. IBM Edge doubled in size. Uh, Ambush Gael, new executive in charge. Um, all the VPs, all the GMs came on board. We heard the story. Ed Walsh laid it out uh, more open, uh, more collaborative. Industry led is better than one single vendor. Um, open, collaborative, and obviously emphasis on Flash. Software defined, everything, that's the focus, doubled in size. I think uh, IBM has the right formula. It looks like, looks like from day one, those numbers are higher, looking good. What do you think? Well, the highlight of the day for me, John, is when we had Ambush Goyal on, he, I think, laid out a, a different vision of software defined uh, than, than some of the competition, specifically what EMC did with Viper. Uh, and, and you know what some others have been talking about. The big difference is the emphasis on openness and, and collaboration. You know, IBM's saying, hey, we've had software defined for a long time. And it's true, a storage hypervisor is a prerequisite, if you will, of software defined, the ability to virtualize the underlying hardware. So uh, I'll, I'll give them a, a, a pass on that. But in terms of making software defined a modern concept, all about this open APIs. It's about being able to connect northbound to other other platforms like OpenStack and bring in other new services. And that was the piece that impressed me the most in terms of differentiation. So we're seeing a new vision from IBM of storage as a platform. And I have to say, it's refreshing because it's been a while since IBM Storage Group has put down you know, a, a, a really groundbreaking vision. And I think this is one. The other piece of the vision is Rather than have sort of static policy that, that is going to drive behavior, we're going to bubble up analytics in the system so that ISVs can actually write code to make decisions in real time. That's something we've been talking about a lot, uh, making real-time decisions around data. And that's something that IBM has a lot of capabilities. So you're seeing IBM reach across boundaries, organizational boundaries, grabbing pieces of technology and incorporating it into their storage portfolio in a way that I haven't seen in probably ever. And so that's good, that's impressive. You know, I think one of the things that, to, to that point that I'm impressed with is that um, last year at IBM Edge, they told us that they were going to do this. They were going to break down the silos. You and I basically were like, yeah, you need to do that. I think you actually were banging on that drum for at least two years and we were obviously messaging that. They did it. We thought it was, I thought it was going to be a hard test. I did not think IBM was going to be able to move this fast this fat, this quickly. So moving the ball down the field. Ed Walsh, I've got to give Ed Walsh a lot of credit. Um, he kind of called the shot and said, we're going to do this. That's his mission. He did it. And the integration story is positive. I talked to a few customers and business partners here on the floor, on the floor during lunch. They all said to me, love the messaging. This is data processing again. This is what IBM is telling a great story. They see value in the messaging. So got to give them props. And again, the attendance shows that. The other key thing that I liked from today was, again, Ambush Goyal's bet. He said, we are betting on the big shifts. And he said, when an industry is reforming, which is happening right now, it's an opportunity to, to take some territory, change the game, create more value, take a leadership position. And he said, we are not a leader in storage. He said, they will become a leader in two areas, flash for big workloads and the, uh, consume, the commoditization and openness around that business model. So Flash is a key shift, and then open source, open collaboration, open daylight, open stack, these are the areas. They want to be industry-led, not the one solution. So, and again, his quote on the keynote, storage is going away, which is essentially just you know, creating some uh, excitement around the fact that it's not just about the storage. It's about the storage and what's around it in software. So I like the st strategy. I think so far, uh, the feedback's been very positive. Well, so I think this, <laughs> This is one of those deals where I've talked about the oligopoly in the IT business for a long, long time. I do think the rich get richer here. I mean, you know, John, you and I love startups. We love 
following startups and innovation. But the reality is, is if you want to do storage as a platform, there are only so many companies that can do that. IBM is one of them. Obviously, EMC is another one. HP, uh, you know, perhaps Dell, you know, maybe Oracle if they want to. Certainly, they could do it. But there's only four or five companies that actually have the juice to do that. And I think of all of them, IBM's got the best track record with regard to open source. Uh, they've made bets before. They made giant bets on Linux. Uh, Goyal himself has built businesses through acquisition and organic development uh, in the analytics business. He's bringing a lot of that playbook into storage. And I think that is going to, to the extent that IBM can execute, we asked him what worries you, what keeps you up at night. And he said execution worries me. It's been worrying me for, for 20 years. So it's, this is not anything new to him. It is, I think, though, John, new to the storage business. This, this, this entity of IBM storage has been, it was disrupted 20 years ago. And now I feel like it's IBM saying, okay, now it's our turn to do some disrupting of, of our own. So this is where it gets really interesting to me. So, you know, obviously big news today. The other surprise on the cube today was obviously Kim Stevenson from C, uh, Intel CIO made it on. That was a great surprise. Uh, she's fantastic. I'm a big fan of her. She's brilliant. She's beautiful. And she's got so much talent, both at a technical level and also at a management level. And her mission around the modern enterprise is just fantastic. Did a little management aspect. But it was the other guy, Doyle. That, um, no, I think it was his name. Was his, our guest was, he was? Oh, Bernie? Uh, uh, Dylan, no, Dylan Larson. Okay, yes. basically came on, and it was ironic because he's the Xeon guy. And today, during the Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference, Apple announced the 12-core Xeon for the MacBook Pro. And he's like, well, you know, it's not an official announcement. So it's kind of fun to have that dynamic on the yeah, queue. Yeah. Well, we all, um, know, we all knew it was coming. Yeah, anyway. we all knew it was coming. But it's nice to see he's yeah. the guy. So this is the multi-core. So to me, this is so amazing because of the, the processing power. And obviously, we had Bernie from uh, the fellow. Well, how about Bernie saying Intel's more, Intel's, uh, Moore's Law is dead? Yeah, <laughs> he said it's a marketing. Uh, well, that's what I'm saying. But um, it's good. You know, we had Nancy Pearson on. We had great guests, VPs. Again, a lot of good data. It's an integrated model. We like it. And uh, E3 was going on today, but gaming, again, another example of big data. So you're seeing the gaming world, you're seeing Apple. This is the consumerization of, of the world. And I think that, again, is the big theme here, cloud data and data management. And they're betting the ranch on that. I mean, IBM in this group is betting the ranch on data management. So um, that's my take. So good um, guest tomorrow, just to set up tomorrow. Um, after we kick it off, uh, we got a customer, a couple of customer interviews. Uh, SideQuest, uh, Karim Abdallah is a guy I met uh, in April uh, with Sprint, doing all Flash. Uh, Alex Yost is coming on, who's the Vice President of Business Line Executive of, uh, of, of IBM Blade Systems. Uh, Mike Kuhn, who runs IBM's Flash business, is coming on. Um, in He Cho Sa, great guest. You know, she's always fantastic. She gave a keynote today talking about big data. Charlie, uh, Charles Long, the CEO of Centerline. Really fantastic story that we're going to hear from him. And Andy Monshaw is coming on. John, Andy Monshaw used to run the storage business two GMs ago and is now uh, the general manager of, uh, of, of Pure Systems. Uh, and also Tom Rosamilia is coming on. He's the senior vice president of STG, took over for Rod Atkins, who we never got on the cube, unfortunately. But, uh, but, but luckily, Tom is coming on. And a number of other guests uh, as well, including uh, uh, Sue, who's going to help us wrap up the day. So... So, John, um, what's your take on the, on the day today? Well, final, my final comment, Dave, is, is that, again, this is just an outside-the-box. You know how I am. I like to like, take the outside-the-box uh, philosophy on, on observational, just data points, just my kind of vision. I think that the IBM storage division here is going to set themselves up for an amazing run. Here's why. If you look at what it was two years ago, it was just a, a boring snorage division, just sitting there, you know, spinning disks, they had some stuff around there. The innovation going back to the early days of, of IBM was fantastic. It was kind of stalled, it was like stuck in the mud. All and Mars is going down, we heard stories is going to zero. When you look at what IBM's really good at, machine learning, cognitive learning, Watson, if IBM rallies the troops and gets that information, that tech, that code, the open source, they have the developer works, and that stuff's been hugely successful. IBM could really run the table here. And I think putting Flash out there and bringing in all that IP, if Ambush Goyal can bring in that IP and rally the other divisions, this could be an explosive catalyst for them. And it, it will hit a lot of different verticals. Now the only question is, is can IBM get out of their own way? 
So my takeaway from here is I believe that this is the beginning of a good pole position for IBM as a company to rally around storage because again, Storage is the enabler, it's the catalyst, it's the center of gravity, it's like the, it's that key gravity that's going to create that, that, that cluster of greatness. And I think the machine learning, the software inside IBM from an asset standpoint is world class. If they well, can bring that in, then this could be a nice run for IBM. If they get internal politics, gets in the way, and then they're not going to take advantage of the refactoring. Well, and that's why I think having Goyal as the head of the division is is critical in my view. Why? Because the following. One, he lays out a vision. It, it starts with a vision. You gotta show people, okay, this is the mountain that we're gonna climb. Two, and then a lot of companies have vision, but they just, you know, can't get it done. But two is the resources to put behind it. And I think one of the things that IBM's going to do here is to make acquisitions. IBM's a very good acquirer of companies. Um, it just hasn't, in my view, had that storage vision and had that sort of acquisition prowess applied to the storage division in a way that yeah, but they didn't have to, the they didn't have to, the thing though, Dave, that, that's different from then and now is the mindset, right? The mindset of Ambush Koyala's strategy and execution, that's just standard management punchline. You know, okay, check the box on that. Okay, real deal here is they have a mindset of winning. They recognize that the, that the marketplace is, is at a tipping point, is at an inflection point, and it is reforming, and there's a lot of stakes that are up for grabs right now. So if they could move fast and mobilize this software-led infrastructure environment, bring in those machine learning code, cognitive learning, bring in that IP, and fix the plumbing, they could do it. They could put it together. So in my view, I see that as a great run. And again, it, it's, it's all going to be with the mindset. And, and they're smart. They recognize the inflection point. And that's, that's going to give them an right, advantage. And now, now the key is they're going to invest in it, and, and you're right, it is the check. So now they stuff. pop in an acquisition, they're taking an acquisition from a different mindset, fix the storage control, ambush class, there's too many APIs, too, many, too much code supporting these kind boxes. of, too many boxes we're selling, let's com collapse that. So now their acquisition strategy will be very interesting to watch. So that now you got kind of a purpose, you got a guiding principle in this new mindset. Purpose is a good word. Yeah. There's a, there's We like sports analogies. I've the pack team. Got it done. Win a lot of but wasn't setting the world on fire. IBM has the potential to completely change the game. I mean, here's yeah. the head of the division saying storage should go away as a concept, as a, as a yeah. word. You know, and that's yeah. my takeaway there was the container. I always talk about the container. Container to platform. So that's, that's what I mean, baseball is 50% physical talent and 50% uh, mental. And, and, you know, in this game here, the money there, the IP. So, again, it's, it's, about, it's about energy and execution. So, you know, good, good, good call. Day one is in the books here. This is the Cube's. This is Silicon Angle's The Cube with Wikibon analyst Dave Vellante here at IBM 2013. We'll be back for all day tomorrow for more in-depth coverage. This is The Cube. Uh, see you tomorrow, and, and thanks for watching.